Good afternoon. This is a special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV Swan News, Radio Cinco and 1PH. The Manila Police is touting the 48-hour lockdown of Sampaloc District, saying it was a success. But over 100 residents were arrested for violating quarantine rules. Justine Punsalan with the rest of the story. Residents in Sampaloc, Manila are back to the new normal after the two-day hard lockdown. Trabaho market opens its doors again to consumers. Police and barangay officials keep a watchful eye on entrances. Everyone is scrutinized. Quarantine passes and IDs are checked before residents are let in. Vendors are breathing a sigh of relief after the 48-hour lockdown was lifted on Saturday evening. The Manila police say the measure was successful. They say the Manila LGU was able to disinfect public places such as markets and the health department has conducted mass testing. Despite this, at least 160 residents were arrested for violating the hard lockdown protocols. Marami, may, may kunwari magtatapon daw ng basura, ganyan, o di kaya mainit daw sa labas ng kanilang mga bahay. So, yun, no? So, yung iba, yung iba lasing, maximum of uh, 12 hours yan, eh. maximum of 12 hours. Tapos, ihinahatin ng ating mga kapulisan doon sa kanilang mga bahay. Kasi nga, kapag ka naglakad yan, at uh, naglakad mula doon sa custodial natin, yung uh, rescue center natin, another violation of the lockdown yun. All violators are now at home, but the police say they will face charges for violating the Manila City's executive order as well as the Bayanihan Wihilas 1 Act. Giagi says they will continue enforcing stricter measures post-hard lockdown. Mas stricto tayo doon sa pag uh, Pag-implement ng enhanced community quarantine, we will be closing, we will go around and uh, see to it that only essential establishments are open. Non-essential should be, should be closed. At the same time, yung mga, lahat ng mga tao lang na makita natin sa labas ay may quarantine pass. Justine Punsala, News 5. COVID cases in some of the metro's jails are also rising. 27 more inmates at the Women's Correctional in Mandaluyong City tested positive for the coronavirus on Saturday. They've been transferred since to the new Bilibid prison quarantine site. The Corrections Bureau says all of them are well and asymptomatic. So far, there are 47 female inmates who are being treated for the SARS-like disease at the NBP in Muntinlupa City. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine. For more updates, Follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.